This is Quentin Pooler with uh, my assignment 2.2 for level design. Um, for this assignment we are supposed to add materials, um, static meshes, and lighting to the level that we made in a, assignment 2.1. Um, so the basic theme I have in mind is that there's three levels and each one is a different time period. So as you move up in levels you go further into the future. The bottom level is a in like a cave in the past. The middle level is uh, in a modern day office setting and the top level is a futuristic setting. Um, so now I will go into play mode to show off the level. So here we are at the bottom past cave area Everything here is made of dirt and rocks, pretty much. Um, and the lighting is all from torches. And these pillars are here to give cover to the middle area. Uh, and there's also rocks that fell from the ceiling are just gathered in areas scattered all across the floor in here. Um, in each of the rooms, besides the hallway that goes to one of the other rooms as another way to get around in this level. There is a teleporter in each one that will take you up to the next level or time period. Um, also in this room there is a, a statue that the people here might have worshipped or something. Um, here I will go up to the modern day level. So I've teleported up into a modern day office in this room here is a server room with the um, towers that have all the disks in them for the server. Um, and there's hallways that lead to one of the other ones just like on the other floor. Um, but in the main area here is the main office part. There's a bunch of cubicles that you can stand in to hide or crouch into them. I made uh, computers and keyboards and mouse for each of the desks. I had to um, change the proportions of things to just make it look kind of like those objects because there wasn't a static mesh that actually was those. Um, all, the, all of the lighting in this area is like fluorescent lights and, and uh, wall sconces and just like general hanging lights and it's got a wooden floor, brick wall, like metal doorways and stuff. Um, in the middle there is like a bigger table and some couches to either walk around or jump over to um, get through the level. And in each of the corners is one of the holes in the floor that lets you go back down into the past area. And they're surrounded by a little frame uh, so now I'll go up to the futuristic level by using one of the teleporters back in the room, that, the server room that we came up in. So now we're in the futuristic level with uh, kind of spaceship-like doorways and lights that have a little bit of a haze coming from them that aren't really like the kinds of lights you see normally. There's uh, robots in in each of the rooms as well as some grating and pipes and the floor will gradually change colors. Um, each of the hallways here will go all the way around to each of the four rooms on the edges here. Uh, this room has a bit more natural light in it so you can see that there are these robot things here. Out in the middle open area there's some kind of antenna machinery or something that is, serves as a focal point and also blocks off as you can't just walk from one room straight to the other you have to navigate around these little walls that also act as barriers that you can crouch behind to hide um, and it's a little hard to see with the shade here from the natural lighting but the walls here are very unique looking and even are somewhat reflective if I can find a good spot for it. When you shoot 
you can see a little bit of a green area show up there that's a reflection from the um, bullet being fired from this gun. Also in general, you know, besides the natural light that come here that kind of symbolizes how in the future you might be able to just leave the planet and go somewhere else. So there's nothing blocking people from doing that in the future, which is why there's no ceiling here. Um, and then there's various mechanical looking things or, or grates on the walls to add more detail to this floor. But in general, you know, this floor you have these little partitions to hide behind and a big obstacle in the middle. Kind of like in the, there's a obstacle in the middle here and various cubicles to hide around on this floor. And then that theme also still goes down to the very bottom layer, which has the big pillar in the middle and smaller pillars around the edges. Um, overall, I ended up having uh, just over 500 different actors in this level, and it took quite a while to uh, figure out the good lighting and materials and meshes to use on this. So that's my level for the assignment.